Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video we will briefly discuss about centripetal force. In this video first of all we will define about what is centripetal force and how it can be generated and how we can uh, derive its formula. In addition we will briefly discuss about its circular motion as well as acceleration or uh, ex uh, angular acceleration due to centripetal force. First of all we need, we need to define about what is centripetal force. That force is a force uh, it, is, it is needed to bend the particle of a moving in the straight path and it attracts the body particle into circular path which is known as centripetal force. For example, when a body of mass m is attached with a string having radius r moving in the circular path and if we want to rotate or uh, swing that ball or uh, a body then it tries to move in the in the direction o a in the direction o a with having velocity v it, it means that this body is making a tangent point along with the perpendicular to the radius of the circle and that force which needs to bend the ball into circular path or it tries to force them to move in the circular path and do not um, and avoid its movement to this straight path is known as centripetal force for example when a ball of um, having mass a is moving with velocity v1 after some time we check that uh, at that at point b we see that this this ball is in their position and having velocity v2 you can see that this velocity is also a tangent and it is also, per also perpendicular to the radius r it is known as v2 in addition first of all we see the relationship of acceleration because when body is moving it as acceleration uh, which is equal to a is equal to delta v over delta t because definition of acceleration is uh, average velocity with respect to time or time rate of change of average velocity with respect to time so this um, body uh, while moving is covering some distance first of all we need to calculate what is the distance covered by that body from point A to point B uh, initially or visually you can see that this is an arc length of having dimension or like this it is not a straight path it is a curve or circular path we need to define what is arc length and how we can relate with respect to acceleration and with respect to centripetal force so the body covers distance with respect to velocity and time s is equal to vt we know this relation so this body is moving with average velocity and uh, we are uh, dealing with average time period so s is equal to v into delta t we can find out the value of delta t from this relation which will be if we replace this s and this v in the second in the left side of the equation s over v is equal to delta t and we will put the value of delta t in this expression we will find that a is equal to delta v over s over v s over v which will be a is equal to delta v into v over s or we can rearrange this then a is equal to v into delta v over s first of all we will we need to define this relationship in the form of this diagram this relationship can be calculated or find out by uh, rearranging this velocity is vector 1 and velocity 2 because this is a vector quantity this is also a vector quantity we need to arrange in the form of vectors first of all we will arrange this this will make as v1 and v2 this is v2 uh, according to rules of vectors we will join these two vectors in the form of this and if we want to calculate the resultant vector or uh, change in vector change in velocity delta v delta v is equal to delta v is a difference between two vectors v2 minus v1 or a resultant vector which will be uh, a vector between v1 and v2 furthermore we need to calculate the value of delta v over delta s and we will put in this expression from this 
diagram we will see that when a body of mass m is moving from point a to point b it covers a distance of a b a b is covered a distance by a body with after some time so in addition we need to first of all we need to calculate by arranging these two vectors v1 and v2 by vector rule so when these two vectors are uh, velocities are arranged then we can find the value of delta v this is change in velocity after some time in this expression we will see that the ratio of delta v over average velocity is equal to distance covered by that body over radius of the circle so in addition uh, in addition you can say that when uh, this distance is covered by a body is arc length which is equal to distance or uh, s we can replace this by using the value of s so delta v over v is equal to s over r first of all uh, our purpose is to find the value of delta v over s from this expression we can find the value of delta v over s so we will replace this term by uh, using the uh, expression delta v over r v is equal to s over r so if we replace this term and this term in the uh, opposite side we will find delta v over s is equal to v over r so we will put this expression delta v over s in this value of acceleration so acceleration is equal to v into uh, from this expression we will put v over r so if we multiply this so it, will, it will become v square over r acceleration this acceleration is a centripetal acceleration because body is moving in a circular path and that path uh, in which the force is acting on the body to, to come in the circular path after uh, otherwise body will go outside the circle and this acceleration is a uh, and if from this expression we can find out the value of uh, centripetal force because we know the formula of centripetal uh, formula of force according to Newton's second law of motion F is equal to m into a so we know that body is moving with velocity uh, or accelerating with the acceleration a and having some mass so f is equal to m into value of a is v square over r v square over r so this is a centripetal acceleration because body is moving in a circular path and in addition if uh, you we know the value of uh, circular motion v is equal to r omega this relationship is uh, derived from circular motion so if we put the value of v in this expression we will find the value of centri centrimetal force in the form of rotations so first of all we will put the value or expression of v is equal to r omega in this expression until up till now this force is a uh, you know, correct solution we can put this value of this force in the numerical or if we have the value of mass, velocity and radius of the circle we can find centripetal force as well. So if we put for, uh, for further expression to find the value of uh, uh, centripetal force in the form of circular motion because it is a circular velocity or angular velocity so we will put it Fc is equal to uh, this is very small m v square the value of v is r omega r omega whole square over r this r so it will when we open this it will become m r square omega square over r and we know this r can be cancelled out this r so final answer will be m r omega square this is at centripetal force or this is the final expression in addition we can find the units and dimension from this expression uh, we can find uh, we know that the s a unit for the uh, force is newton so if we open the value of newton uh, the final term will be uh, kilogram meter per second square but in addition f is the, the, the s a unit is newton so if we want to prove the value or units of the right hand and left hand side we can prove by using this expression as well uh, the unit of uh, if we open the newton it will be kilogram meter per second scale 
so uh, the dimension of this term will be the dimension of kilogram comes from mass the dimension of meter comes from length and dimension of time second comes from time t minus 2 this is an intra test question and in addition you can ask in the board exam or in the uh, previous uh, or the other exams you can find or uh, the uh, questions about prove the relationship uh, of force is equal to mv square over r by using their uh, units you can prove this as you know that the uh, unit or dimension of force is mlt minus 2 but first of all we will need to find the units from this acceleration mv square over r so the unit of mass is kilogram kilogram the unit of velocity is meter per second it is square meter per second whole square over the um, unit of radius is in the form of distance or its unit is meter so if we open this the value will be kilogram the if we open the square m square meter square and per second square over per meter if we cancel this m with m we can find the value or final value of uh, units in the form of mv square over r which units will be kilogram meter single and s minus 2 per second square and you know that this is value of newton and if we calculate the dimension the dimension will be the dimension of kilogram come from mass dimension of meter come from length dimension of second come from time guys up till now we have finished about the centripetal force we derived this expression as well as we discussed in detail about its angular motion or circular motion in addition we discussed or proved about their SI units and dimension if you have any question you can contact me on my email address or if you want to uh, more videos we will upload more videos related to centripetal force and circular motion and if you like my video you can subscribe my channel for more videos see you soon bye bye